Let's go ahead and hop into this one. This will be a little bit more lengthy than the previous topics. In a silicon launches Fantasy One GPU product family. Today at the Fantasy One GPU product press conference, in a silicon, a Chinese company offering graphics cards and memory solutions unveiled its first discrete GPU. At the event, in a silicon revealed its plans for the Fantasy One GPU. This processor is based on Imagination Graphics IP, BXT to be specific, which brings tons of innovations to the discrete GPU solutions offered by the Chinese company. As many as four products have been revealed, including dual GPU and single GPU solutions. So we're talking about multi-chip GPUs, which could be awesome. That hasn't been done uh, since, of course, AMD's, I believe it was in the Fury lineup. So it's been a while. Type A is a consumer workstation graphics card featuring a single Fantasy One GPU, which is actually a multi-chip chiplet design. Unfortunately, none of the news reports from China on this announcement had the exact configuration of the Fantasy One. So multi-chip chiplet design, we're talking about Ryzen CPUs, at least in similarity. That's what they typically mean by chiplets, where you're gonna have like the CCDs on the AMD GPUs where they can put multiple on a single chip. Could be interesting. According to the data provided by Inosilicon, the GPU offers up to five teraflops of single precision compute power and 160 uh, fill rate of G pixels. It is equipped with DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, and VGA connectors. This card is to be equipped with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory across a 128-bit interface. That's a pretty small bus, by the way, guys. So far, the G6X technology has been exclusive to NVIDIA and Micron Ampere GPUs, but apparently in the Silicon made a lot of research in PAM4 signaling and was able to unlock up to 19 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth for their GDDR6X implementation. So there's something important to understand here too, as far as NVIDIA and their GDDR6X implementation. Now, here's the thing, the total three throughput of NVIDIA's GDDR6X can go up to 28 or 21 gigabits per second. However, because they had those memory modules on the back of the GPUs, the recent launch of that had them underclocking the memory down to 19 gigabits per second. So the current line of NVIDIA GPUs would be equivalent in speed to this upcoming line of GPUs from InnoSilicon, basically due to poor B PCB design, in my humble opinion, from NVIDIA. Now we are seeing NVIDIA presumably resolve this issue with the 3090 Ti launch as they have announced that it will get the full 21 gigabits per second. That's yet to be confirmed, of course, and we'll have to see where things go. But as it sits right now, while the total throughput is only 19 gigabits per second, on these in silicon chips technically that's just as fast as the nvidia chips because of nvidia basically having to gimp their own cards all right a relatively short memory bus will have its toll on the maximum theoretical bandwidth and this is obviously important for mining which is to go up to 304 gigabytes per second so somewhere in between the 6700 xt and the 6600 xt so this is also going to give you a little bit of a telltale sign of what our hash rate is going to be. Yes, we're probably looking at somewhere between 30 and 45 mega hash a second on these particular GPUs just based on the current theoretical output, right? The theoretical bandwidth that we would have, which is that 304 gigabytes per second. Now, where this could be, of course, important is going to be their dual chiplet design, which could double that, right? And then on top of that, we also have that kind of question of what does that put the actual power consumption at as well. Let's go ahead and talk more. There's a lot more in this article to go over. The card on the right is an entry level model based on Fantasy One GPU, which is likely featuring less memory than a dual fan solution, but those details were not included 
in the news report. We're talking about this one over here. The Type B, a triple fan or fanless design pictured below, is a dual GPU solution featuring two Fantasy One GPUs connected by an interface known as InnoLink. The company claims up to 10 teraflops of computing power and 320 gigapixels fill rates. This card can offer 32 simultaneous 1080p 60fps streams or 64 streams at 720 30fps. It is to feature up to 32 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, but is again limited by dual 128-bit interfaces uh, from each GPU. All these cards feature PCIe Express 4.0. Essentially, you would be doubling. So because you're going to have two separate interfaces, you would be doubling essentially the the power or the theoretical bandwidth. So you're you're talking about probably 608 gigabytes a second. Uh, it'll be faster than like a 6800 and 6900 XT but it won't be you know as fast as maybe something from nvidia should be interesting what is that total is two 256 bits yeah so there you go among many ips that have been enabled on this gpu are graphics apis including opengl opengl es open cl excuse me vulcan and directx Obviously, the DirectX support is probably the most interesting announcement here. Unfortunately, the company did not confirm which version specifically of Microsoft Graphics API is supported. I don't think that's in that interesting. I, I feel like if you're going to release a, a graphics card, you have to support that, but I, I don't know. The GPUs were live demoed at the event, which included benchmarking with UniEngine, Heaven OpenGL demo. Unfortunately, no scores from these tests were reported by any Chinese news outlet. The company already confirmed it is working on Fantasy 2 and 3 GPU families, which are to be unveiled next year. Inosilicon has plans to utilize 5 nanometer process technology for these GPUs. The process technology of Fantasy 1 GPU, however, has again not been confirmed by any news outlet. A close-up of the Fantasy One GPU, including diagrams featuring nine GPU cores. You got all that. And Imagination and Inosilicon announced a collaboration in October of last year. Imagination confirmed that they will license BXT design to the Chinese company, which is to offer up to six teraflops of single precision compute power. Those numbers are slightly higher than the Fantasy One GPU. You know, while the memory bus is disappointing on at least the fantasy one we have the fantasy two and three to look forward to i don't know if this is supposed to be like a low level card that also has a dual gpu solution which is interesting or if this is more of a high level card and we are going to be seeing smaller memory bus on these chips right but we are going to be looking at presumably theoretically between 40 mega hash and 80 mega hash depending on the unit right so at the high end and the low end as far as whether you got a single or a dual pricing obviously is going to be important here my assumption too is on the dual gpu i would worry a little bit about power consumption especially from a mining perspective because you are going to have an entire extra core there to power regardless of how much memory so while you are upgrading the memory bandwidth etc you are also increasing the power requirements over like a single gpu with the same memory bandwidth right so uh, that's kind of I don't, i'm not sure that these basically are going to be any good for mining or not we'll just have to wait and see i'm leaning towards probably not that good probably not that good but it's possible it's possible if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to see more also you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency